Located next to the Balkan Sea, the charming city of Gdansk boasts a beautiful old town characterized by its picturesque architecture, cobbled streets and charming waterfront. After being reduced to rubble during World War II, the city has been reborn, welcoming tourists in search of a unique and enriching experience. Join us as we explore the city on a weekend break close to Christmas. Hi everyone and welcome back to another video and welcome to Gdansk in Poland. We've come here on a weekend break, just staying the two nights and yeah, we, we wanted to fit in one last trip before the end of the year. So I think it's fair to say that if you asked me a year ago whether I'd ever go on holiday to Poland, I probably wouldn't have said yes, but I'd say in the last six months I've heard some really good things about particularly the the cities in Poland and how and how beautiful they are so I'm just walking around the old town at the moment and yeah it looks really 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 beautiful um, really surprised actually I haven't seen much so far but from what I have seen it's been it's been fantastic So I wouldn't say that we've got a full itinerary for this trip. Um, we have got a few things that we want to see, um, but what is quite good timing is uh, the Christmas market is here. Uh, I think it's only been open a few days, so we've, <laughs> we didn't plan on it, but we did time it quite well. Um, and apparently it's supposed to be one of the better ones in, in Europe. And yeah, the, um, the weather as well. Um, definitely didn't expect it for it to be snowing on this trip, but here we are. Um, I think it's quite a good thing, just because it's gonna be cold anyway, and the snow kind of adds to the atmosphere a bit. It's quite nice with the Christmas market as well. We then went for breakfast at Palermo Bistro Bar, which I definitely recommend. We then went to St Mary's Church, which is one of the largest brick churches in the world. As the sun broke out on this winter's day, we went for a nice stroll along the waterfront, which is steeped in history. Serving as the heart of the city's maritime trade for centuries, the port played a crucial role in the economic development of Gdansk and the broader region. Dotted along the waterfront, you'll see lots of historic warehouses and ships, giving a glimpse into the maritime past. Just uh, walking along the river at the moment and it's really, really nice. Uh, sun is out as well, which definitely didn't expect that. Um, so that's a, that's a nice added bonus. After a loop around the harbour, we headed back to the old town and made our way to the Christmas market for a quick bite. Had a really good day today. Explored most of the city, I'd say. Um, the old town is not a massive area, so it doesn't take long to, to cover um, that area. And then we sort of walked around the Christmas markets, um, which is good actually. It was bigger than we both thought it would be. Um, and yeah, had a bit of food there. Um, but yeah, overall impression so far, it's been really good. As the weather turned on us, we took advantage of our hotel spa facilities. We then went for our evening meal at Ostro, an Italian restaurant, which we can definitely recommend. We 
With the snow gently falling, it was the perfect time to properly explore the Christmas market. So we just spent the evening uh, walking around the Christmas markets and the streets. Um, it's really busy actually, um, I guess because it's a Saturday night and it's the first few days of the Christmas market maybe. Um, but it's really quite lively, which is, yeah, really good. Yeah, I think the Christmas market is definitely a really, really good one. Um, I wouldn't say it's like overpriced like a lot of other Christmas markets. So we're probably going to call it a day. Uh, but it's been a really good one, uh, quite long, but uh, I think we've managed to pack in quite a lot. It is one of those places that is very uh, walkable. You can see a lot in the day. Um, you don't really need to take any public transport unless you want to go much further afield. To get some photos the next day, I got up early to beat the crowds. Using the drone, I could see how photogenic the skyline was and could really appreciate the architecture. I also liked how St Mary's Church and the Town Hall stood out amongst everything else. So I'm just walking around the old town this morning and we've got another sprinkling of snow um, which really sort of makes this place very, very, uh, very special I suppose. So gonna head back to the hotel and warm up um, and then probably head back out, find something for breakfast. Um, but yeah, that was a good morning. I think I got some nice shots. For our breakfast, we headed to Schlepp Wino, which is very good and great value. Shortly after, we made our way to the World War II Museum to learn more about what happened in Gdansk during this time. The German attack on the city marked the start of World War II and the city was annexed in 1939. In the years that passed, Gdansk experienced occupation and significant destruction which led to the displacement of the local population. It was certainly interesting to learn more about Gdansk during this time. As the sun set on the day, I made my way to a viewpoint of the harbour, which definitely paid off, and I got some beautiful light shining on the buildings. Oh, what a fantastic way to end this trip to Gdansk. Got some wonderful light shining on the buildings there, just before sunset. And that wraps up our visit to the city of Gdansk. All in all, it was a brilliant city break, filled with a great variety of sights and things to do. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.